So you were born there, is that it? Yes, ma'am. All the Thorntons were born there, seven generations of them. I see. And what is your thought, Mr. Thornton? Are you planning to turn White Morning into a national shrine? What? Perhaps charge Tuppence a visit for a guided tour through the little thatched cottage where all the Thorntons were born. Are you a man of such eminence, then? No, not exactly. My own family, Mr. Thornton, has been in Ireland since the Normans came some hundreds of years ago, but we've seen no reason to establish monuments or memorials. Look, like Mrs. That. Talan, I'm not talking about memorials or monuments. It's just that ever since I was a kid living in the shack near the slag heaps, my mother's told me about Innisfree and why to mourn. Innisfree has become a, another word for heaven to me. When I quit the... When I decided to come here, I, it was with one thought in mind. Ministry is far from being heaven, Mr. Thornton. Ma'am, Mr. Red Will Gunner wishes to be announced. I mean, Squire Gunner, huh? Wipe your muddy boots. Mrs. Salan. Mr. Thornton, from America. Ah, boo. It's him I'm here about, Mrs. Talan. Is it true? It's what true? That behind me back, he's trying to steal the white of morn right from under me nose. And what concern of yours is this, Will Danaher? Concern? Concern enough. Haven't I made you a good fair offer for that same piece of land? And mine lying right next to yours? You may keep your offers. Oh, so it's true. You've sold it. No, I have not. <laughs> oh, I knew it was a dirty lie the very minute I heard it. <laughs> sure. I said to him, Paggy McFarlane, you'll never make me believe that Sarah Talim will be selling white on. <laughs> Why, it'd be like building a fence between your land and mine. And for a stranger to move in, says I. And what would she do be doing that for? And us so close to an understanding, you might say. So you told him all that, did you? That I did. Down at the pub, I suppose. In front of all those big ears with pints in their fists and pipes in their mouths. You may have the land, Mr. Thornton, for 600 pounds. Don't! No, you can't. 610. As I remember, Mrs. Stellan, you said 700 pounds. See here, little man. 710. How about an even thousand? A thousand and... and... and and I'll be saying good day to you, Mrs. Talland, and all here but one. And I've got you down in my book. <laughs>